You can expect your traffic to fluctuate a bit after a redesign. It happens to everyone, so do not panic. What you need to do is just monitor to make sure that everything is happening as it's supposed to. Like I said, you're going to see some fluctuations, but we just want to make sure that there is nothing alarming going on. If you follow the steps that we have already talked about, here you will be able to maintain your rankings, and if your redesign is good, then hopefully you should be experiencing an increase in traffic as well. But what are the things that you should look for? After a redesign, I like to keep an eye on both my Google Analytics as well as my Google Search Console or Webmaster Tools accounts. And what I like to look for first in my Google Analytics is I just like to watch the website traffic. I want to make sure that my numbers are looking consistent and I want to make sure that they're not dropping dramatically. Uh, again, you might see the fluctuations in traffic and that's okay, but just make sure it is staying about what it was and hopefully after a little bit of time it's going to start growing as well. The next thing that I like to look for is in the Google Search Console account. I like to look under Google Index and Index Status. Now here I want to keep an eye on how many of my pages are actually indexed. So if I am seeing a drop off on my pages and suddenly many of my pages aren't indexed, that is a problem and that's something that I want to keep an eye on. Otherwise, we should be good to go. The second thing I like to look for in the search console is also my crawl errors, which you can find under crawl and crawl errors. And if Google is having any trouble at all, they're going to notify you on this page. So here, for example, they're telling me that I have one error. And when I scroll down, it's telling me that it's giving me a 404, which is a page not found error for this particular page. So now I know that that's something that I need to work on. Now, if you have set up your account to notify you via email of any new crawl error, which you can do here under the settings icon and search console preferences, you can go ahead and select the email address that you would like to be notified about, and you can but if you want to know just about critical issues or all issues here, and you'll immediately be notified if there's any issue, which is definitely something that I recommend so you can get right in there and take care of it. But that's going to let you know if Google is finding any errors and if there's anything alarming going on so that you can take any corrective action that may be necessary.